Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Shira. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer, author, and currently working as a solutions architect on Azure and Azure DevOps. In our previous video, we have learned how to create a Hello World pipeline using YAML. Today we are going to learn about few more additional concepts about how to manage the pipeline. Let's get started. So as you can see, we have two pipelines and the first one, the top one is the pipeline which is created using YAML. As you can see here, the name of the pipeline is Azure DevOps. By default, when you create the YAML based pipeline, if you remember in one of the steps, by default, when you create YAML based pipelines, it automatically takes the repository name as the name of the pipeline. If you remember, I have selected Azure DevOps as the repository while creating the yaml based pipeline that's why the name of the pipeline that you see here is azure devops now i would like to rename this pipeline to with a better name let's understand what are the various options that we have here to rename the very first option is While we are in the recent tab, hover on the row, then you will see this three dots, which is a context menu. You can rename or move. Basically, move will help us in changing the folder structure. So this rename option must be used to change the name. You also see another option called edit. So this edit must be used to update the code of the YAML based pipeline. Now our requirement is to rename the pipeline. So this is the first option that we can use. The other option is the other option is to click on the row which takes you to this page and here you can click on these three dots and then you can do a rename from here as well so let me click on this which opens up a pop-up now in the name text box I can provide a meaningful name for our pipeline Hello world hyphen, maybe YAML, or maybe we don't need to specify YAML because very soon we are going to create folders as well. Right now it is in all pipelines root. Let me click on save. Now the name of the pipeline got changed automatically. Let me also navigate to all pipelines page where our pipeline name got updated. This is how we can change the name of the YAML pipeline. Let's now understand how to create folders. Currently we are in the recent tab, which shows all the recent executions of all pipelines. Now in order to create a folder, we need to navigate to all tab where you see all the pipelines and you also see a button called new folder using which we can create folders here i would like to create two folders one for yaml pipelines one for classic UI 
Right, now this. Now I would like to move these into corresponding folder. So first I will move the classic by clicking on this rename or move button. Here I will just change the folder structure. I will select classic UI pipelines and then save. I will repeat the same set of steps for YAML based pipeline as well. Now it looks clean. So here because we are learning basics of Azure DevOps, I created two folders, one for classic UI pipelines and the other for YAML based pipelines. But when you are working in projects, you should not do this. You should create folders based on the project names, based on the application names or module names. That way it will be very helpful for you to organize or maybe based on the component names. For example, you might be having a lot of yeah, lot of pipelines, maybe some of them for Angular, some of them for APIs, some of them for database, some of them for data engineering. Right. So based on the component type, you can also create folder structures. So there is no best practice on how to create folder structure, but it all depends on your requirements and the components that you guys are using in your projects. Now let's also understand how the YAML code is organized. If you want to edit the YAML pipeline, you navigate to the YAML pipeline, you can click on these three dots and you can click on edit. This edit button helps us in updating the YAML code of this corresponding pipeline. Now let me click on this. It takes you to this page where you can see hello world.yml which is inside a repository called Azure DevOps. And here you can see all the complete code. We'll talk more about this editor where you can change the pipeline. But now the pipeline is associated with a file called hello world.yaml. So you can locate this YAML file by navigating to the repos. which will take you to the file section and here you can see hello world.yml. So click on this and you see the exact code that we have seen in editing the hello world pipeline. So there are two components. One is the pipeline. The other one is the YAML file. Now how are these two linked? Let's understand that. Go back to your pipelines. Now click on edit, which takes you to this editor. Now click on these three dots and click on settings where you will see hello world.yaml. Right now in our repository, we have only one YML file, but later you might have a lot of YML files. So if you want to refer to some other YAML file, all you need to do is change the YAML file path by picking up the corresponding YAML file. So this drop down will only populate the YAML files. That is how the pipeline and the actual files are linked together. Let me cancel this. Clicking on cancel button. Now, let's make some changes. Let's understand how to edit. 
right in case if you are in pipeline section all you need is either click on this edit button or click anywhere on the pipeline and then click on the edit button here both options will take you to this yaml based editor yeah now let's edit the pipeline maybe we will make a very simple change i will just add one more step by copy pasting the same script for now ensure that you put the cursor vertically on the same place where you see this hyphen for now i'm just going to change the display name uh, in the upcoming videos we will learn more about yaml syntax and we are also going to build complex yaml based pipelines for now i'm just going to save this change i am directly committing the change to the main branch click on save and then i am going to run this pipeline now click again on run button as you can see here the job is in queued state very soon it will start running and it will get completed the job got successfully executed let me click on the job as you can see here we have two steps that's it for this video thanks for watching please share your feedback in the comment section thank you have a good day